In the wake of the tragedy in Newtown, Providence's mayor is joining the call for more gun control, and he's asking his colleagues across Rhode Island for help. Eyewitness News reporter Nick Nwosu is live now from the Mobile Newsroom with what she's learned. Well, Mike, a Angel Tavares says that he's already received support from several other mayors here in the state, and he says that they're all hoping to come together and start statewide gun buyback programs to start at the beginning of the year. A week after six adults and 20 children were killed in a school shooting in Connecticut, many political leaders say it's time to look at gun laws both nationally and here in the Ocean State. Rhode Island gun laws uh, typically are a lot more liberal than Massachusetts and Connecticut, and so we should focus on uh, making them stricter. I think that's important to make sure that we can avoid uh, any type of tragedy going forward and that we have sensible, sensible and reasonable uh, gun laws. To do that, Tavares says it's important to unify all mayors throughout the state. He says he's already reached out and has support from Cranston Mayor Alan Fung and newly elected Central Falls Mayor James Diosa. Tavares says together they'll look to ban assault weapons. They'll set up gun buyback programs and ask the General Assembly to strengthen gun laws. I think it's important that we have a unified voice on this because violence affects um, our, all of our cities and uh, our state as a whole, and uh, we need to recognize that. But the mayor of Providence says going to the state house may not be enough. To rid Rhode Island of assault weapons, Tavares says he'll travel to Washington if need be. Nowhere uh, in the city of Providence or the state of Rhode Island uh, do you have uh, civilians with uh, assault weapons. That is something that I think could make it uh, make our uh, our lives a lot safer. Well, just up the road in North Providence, Mayor Charles Lombardi tells us that he is also in favor of strict gun laws. In fact, he says that both he and Mayor Tavares are members of the national group Mayors Against Illegal Guns. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Neka Nwosu, Eyewitness News.